it is Miss You Beauty. I am back and I'm back with two subscri subscription box. Hey guys, it's Miss You Beauty and I'm back and I am back to show you guys two subscription boxes that I got in the mail last week. So one is Allure, and you guys know that that is $23 a month. The other one is BoxyCharm, and that is $25 a month. And I do get my Ipsy every other month, and that's the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, which is also $25 a month. It does not seem to come at the same time. So to save time and extra videos that Sometimes people don't seem to watch. Uh, let's go ahead and get these two um, done at the same time. And let's compare. Uh, I did this once before with these two boxes. Or was it Ipsy? And this one. I think it was these two to compare what kind of products they send. Um, I've done it before. So Allure used to send mostly small size items um like minis and trials and then they bumped their box up uh to include more full-size items and so their price also went up to 23 dollars this one has always been 25 dollars that i am aware of and it's always been five full-size products i believe it's five so let's go ahead i do have my scissors here um hopefully this video is not extra long um, I, I don't think that helps when my videos are extra long because if people don't watch the video in its entirety, it drags my averages down and then I don't show up in people's feeds when they search for certain things. So let's go ahead and start off with the way the boxes look. Uh, you can tell that between the two, the Allure box is the smallest. Um, the Allure Beauty Box comes with white and red writing and on the inside it says from the beauty experts and then here you get your brochure detailing out what you have in your box for that month and the description of them what they retail at um, but the Allure descriptions are more so accounts of what people have experienced with the product uh, the boxy charm is black and white black with white writing when you open up boxy charm it does say at boxy charm and hashtag boxy charm and then oddly enough it's red and white which is the allure colors but red background with white coloring with i mean with white letters and you also get a little card that details out the theme of the month and the description of the products and what they retail at it also does tell you where you can find the product uh, whether it's online or what have you so they tell you where you can find it and the allure beauty box does that as well so let's go ahead and start with boxycharm um, let's take out the first product it's the pure lease ageless uh, glow serum bb cream uh, i do have a clear face of makeup um, it's clear of makeup i do have on skincare uh, which actually i did use the brightening cream this morning after washing my face uh, it is did i wash i also wash my face with a pure lease product as well uh, it's the it was the watermelon stuff but anyway this is going to go well today. I will be trying this on. Let's see if it's even, it's called deep. So this might just be my color. Let's go ahead and take this out. What is it saying? Pure Lease, Pure Lease Ageless. I mean, is Pure Lease um, a K-Beauty product, I believe? Ageless Glow Serum BB Cream with SPF 40. A multitasking serum infused beauty balm that contains bak oil, algae collagen and vitamin c to firm the skin's elasticity brighten and moisturize all while providing full natural glowy coverage and protecting your skin with spf 40 that's what this is it retails at 38 dollars 
So I'm glad I opened this first because after this, uh, we're done unboxing this box, I will apply this just so I can have it on. So this is what the packaging looks like. Okay. And it says deep. And it does have the safety seal, which I'm not going to take off until I'm done with this box and ready to um, apply it. So the next thing that I'm seeing in here um, is a Jekka, Jekka Block Play Pots. Um, what is a shimmer finish? Cream pigment for eyes, lips, and cheek. Okay, so I can apply this. Um, I don't know about what's in the Allure box though. So this is the... I've never heard of this before. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Jessa Block or Jekka Block Play Pot. Play pots are cream pigments uh, that can be used on eyes, lips, and cheeks. As cream pigments, they're super easy to effortlessly blend while still offering you high impact pigment with a vegan and cruelty-free formula. I like that. This retails at $21.50. 2150 is what it's saying. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up. I'm still making sure that I'm recording because there's been times where it just was not recording. So there you go. There's that. Let's open it up. Very interesting color. I won't swatch it right now. Well, the only problem with me swatching it is I, I don't like swatching in it and then trying to stop the video to clean it off. Let me go ahead and do it. Yeah, this can definitely get on something. So I will have to stop the video and clean my fingers. This is the it. Let me get closer. This is the swatch. Not sure what you guys can see there. But I can see this for lip and cheek, definitely. I don't know about my eyes. You can see there is some shimmer there. So let me go clean up um, and we'll be right back. I just don't want to get everything else with this stuff on it. You see there's a shimmer uh, glow there to it. Be right back. All right, guys, I've cleaned off this. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Never heard of the brand before. This will be interesting to try on. Again, that was $21.50. The next thing is from Kate Somerville. I'm sure you guys have all heard of that brand. Uh, it's Exfolicate, Exfolicate Glow Moisturizer, uh, Hydrant. Oh, that's a different word. Uh, that's a different language. Uh, how to use AM and PM apply an even layer to clean skin. Um, I don't know. Let me go ahead and open this up. Uh, it does say revive dull, dry, lackluster looking skin with Kate Exfolicate Glow Moisturizer. Powerhouse ingredients remove dead surface skin cells while smoothing five fine lines and wrinkles to reveal healthier looking skin and that is uh, what this is claiming to do um, if i did not put pure lease on my skin i would have definitely gone in with this first this is the kate somerville uh, moisturizer um, i have kate somerville i don't know where it is uh, this is a different product, I think, or either it's different packaging. This is what it looks like. Yeah, I've smelled this before. doesn't have a perfumey scent or anything. I think this is very cute that this is on the top. <laughs> but yeah, this says cruelty-free. Uh, made in the USA. Um, this is $70. That's pretty pricey, but Kate Somerville products are. And they uh, people say that they're proven to be worth it. So that's this one. 
Uh, the next item that I have in here, let's see, one, two, three, four. I do have five items. The next item is uh, eye color gel waterproof liner. Don't, let's see what this looks like. It says your new go-to liner. This creamy long lasting gel formula um, glides on easily to fiercely line and define. Trace liner along upper and lower lash line. Blend gently for soft, softer smoky look. So that's the packaging for this one. Let's go ahead and take it out of the packaging. Don't know if I'm gonna be putting liner on today. This is by Molly and it's Onyx. It says waterproof. Um, I'm not going to swatch it. We all, let's roll it up. Let's see. I don't know if you guys can see me rolling it there. You see that? There we go. So uh, I'm not going to swatch that. That's black liner. It's called Onyx by M-A-L-L-Y. That's Molly. And it says you're new on the go. Okay, so that's basically what I read. $19. $19 is what it's retailing at. Uh, the last item is called B Booty Drops, not booty, but booty drops, um, firming body oil, caffeine, a butt forklift. Oh, so it is booty uh, for your butt. So grapeseed oil for baby soft booty. Okay. I'm gonna have to use this because I have a big a big butt. So, <laughs> um, so this is from Frank Body. All right, what are they saying here? Drop it like you're hot. Booty drops is a firming body oil to help smooth you over. Each drop is packed with caffeine to firm guarana to energize. Carrot root extract to hydrate, plus grape seed and ahoba oil oils to soften skin and get you glowing. Drop it straight onto your booty for soft and firm skin, or mix with your moisturizer for extra perks. This is $17.95. So yeah, I will try this. Yeah, it looks like an oil. It's a dropper. Yeah. So let me smell this right quick. Oh, it smells like coffee. <laughs> Hence the caffeine they're talking about. All right. And this is um, 30 milligrams. 30 ml 1.01 1 .01 fluid ounce in here. Okay, nice, nice. All right, uh, for those that are curious, this is the version number that I got for my boxy charm. Uh, on front of the box, it says save the date September 13th, October boxy choice. So I guess. You get a choice. Get up to 70% off in add-ons. So yeah. All right, so let's see what, uh, well, let's go ahead and put the, so we already have it on. Let's go ahead and apply the BB cream. You know what guys, I have a beauty blender just in case, but since this beauty blender does already it's not a clean beauty blender, and since this is a BB cream serum, I am going to shake it. But I'm going to start with applying it with my fingers and see how that goes. So let's zoom in just a tad. I don't know if my zoom is going to work. There it is. So let's go ahead and try this on hopefully it is my color i should say shade i always say color but hopefully oh, this is my shade
gonna take the beauty blender real quickly to make it look a little bit more natural and I'm just bouncing it on top of what I've done to kind of smooth out um, what I've done here this color this shade I should say looks a little grayish on me again though remember this does have SPF 40 in it so I wouldn't be surprised I'm gonna put just a tad on the beauty blender for under my eye because you guys I'm not gonna wear concealer today I have errands to run and it's Sunday so nobody's trying to look glam for Sunday not really I've got errands to run and stuff like that so yeah the the shade is looking a little bit grayish but I do see the glow that they're referring to there is somewhat of a glow coming out of this uh, BB cream and I don't want to spend too much time on this because we have a totally different box to um, unbox and compare but this is the way the foundation looks on the skin it's not foundation the BB cream and it does have a uh, skin um, care properties with it so I do like that So let's take a look here. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, let's just see how it wears. I'm not gonna do a wear test, but I will see how it wears throughout the day. I just got it all messy. So let's continue with the rest. I'm gonna wash my hands and we'll continue uh, with the rest of the uh, boxes the Allure Beauty box when I return all right guys now it's time for the Allure Beauty box and then I'll give this um, yeah I can tell it's because of the SPF but uh, that'll give this BB cream time to settle into my skin before I start putting something else on my skin so let's go ahead and start unboxing the um, Allure Beauty box what did I do with my card? Or my, there it is. All right, so you've also got a few other cards in here. Um, there's a lot to unpack. It, it talks about antioxidants on this card. And then there's another card, Shop Like a Beauty Editor. And those cards were in there as well. So let's start out with the first item. I'm not going to read too much about the items. I don't want to spend too much time, but this is 111 Skin uh, Y Theorem Day Cream. Okay, this is another skincare product. It's a, quite a lot of it. Never heard of this. Well, 111 maybe I've heard of it. Um, don't know. It says Harley St. London. Uh, Dr. Y. Alexander Alexandrids, I don't know, MD. Um, so what is it saying about this one? Anything? Let's just say, say what it retails at. This is obviously a full size of this. Um, a little bit of this rich cream goes a long way and leaves my skin feeling soft and moisturized throughout the day. The hyaluronic acid formula is intensely hydrating, it w hydrating, but it won't clog oily areas such as the T-zone. $270. $270. There is 50 ml or 1.7 fluid ounces in this container. Just I'll take it out for you. This is what it looks like. I love the color of this container. 
uh, let's see. It looks very luxurious, the container does, the color, by the way. So this is the cream. And it doesn't smell perfumey. It has a nice scent to it. But yeah, so this is quite expensive. I am going to uh, keep this one. Oh, okay. The next item I want to pull out is a small item. This is more of a mini or trial size. It says Haraharu Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner. Hyaluronic Toner. Uh, what are they saying about this hyaluronic toner? Let's see how much. I could at least tell you what it retails at. All right, $37. This is not the full size, but the full size is $37. This isn't the toner of your teenage years. Black rice extract and hyaluronic acid top the ingredients list of this hydrating formula. So after cleansing is when they use this. She pours a few drops onto the palm of her hand and then she gently presses it into her skin. From her forehead to her neck, she says. So I don't know. I'm not, I guess I could keep this. It is a trial size. I never have been a big toner person. I'm not sure why. I don't know if toner just cleanses the skin even further. I, I do want to look up more up about what cleanser does because I have a few of them sitting in my um, cabinets. So I do have to use it at some point. I guess it's like a witch hazel and I actually just like witch hazel for that for doing that job. But anyway, these days they put hyaluronic acid and other things in it. But all right, so liposome, moisture liposome, Hydration Boosting Serum. That's what this is. And I don't know if this is full size. So let's say, see if this is full size. So this box is really doesn't have as much um, makeup in it. So I will be pulling back from BoxyCharm to do a try more try on. So let's try and see what this one's about. Here it is. Not sure, this is not, this is 0.5 fluid ounces, 15 milliliters. Um, this is $95 uh, for full size. The cream to gel texture feels so luxurious against my skin and is, a, is lightweight enough to layer under a rich moisturizer in the winter. But the hyaluronic acid formula hydrates uh, so well on its own that in the summer I only need to apply my regular sunscreen on the top. So this here also has hyaluronic acid. This is a hyaluronic acid heavy beauty box, but um, I, I really don't think this has a pump. I'm really thinking that this is not the full size of it. It does have Korean writing on the back. I don't know if this is going to end up focusing, but it does have Korean writing on the back. So, hmm. K Beauty product, maybe? Uh, let's see again how much the full size costs. Um, I need to stop frowning. $95 for 1.3 ounces. $125 for 2 ounces. And this is only 0.5. So this is obviously not the full size. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, all right, so the next thing I want to pull out is a blush serum. Cheap and lip water based. So this is another cheek and lip color. So I got to choose which one I want to use. And the name of this one 
is called I don't know if this is full size this is $16 Butanique Beauty Blush Serum in Magna Sky that's the shade as the weather gets sweatier I wear less and less clothes and makeup my beauty routine gets streamlined to feather light formulas like this blush serum a raspberry tone cream blush I did okay I think I'm gonna use the other one today $16 oh, sorry guys $16 is this one I don't know if I'm gonna use this one lip and cheek cream color I might use the other one but $16 and the next thing I'm going to pull out is an eyeliner, and it is by, um, it's called Real, Thur Real Her? Real Her. They just put it together, that's all. They put it together, and I thought it was one word, but it's Real Her, and they made it one word. Let's see if we can take this out metallic bronze eyeliner this is interesting if i could get it out that would be great i do have nails but they don't seem to be working with this there is another end that i can open with scissors because it's sealed i'm trying not to have both ends um open but i'm gonna have to to push it through I'm just going to have to do it that way. Let's push it on through. Here we go. Let's see if this is going to work. I'm going to have to end up covering it. So that is, I'm guessing that is the color. This is the, I wouldn't mind trying this eyeliner on. Uh, sometimes this thing works sometimes it doesn't so what are we gonna do uh, we have one more product in here and it looks like a face mask of some sort this is $16 full size this, this is full size $16 let's see she says I used to think the cat eye had to be done in dark all right so basically she does her cat eye with this color as well and I don't think I need to do all of that going just to the store. So that's this right here, $16. And the last item is a mask and it's called Medi Heal NMF Intensive Hydrating Mask. Hydrating, tightening, refining, moisturizing. That's what this is. And what are they saying about this? This is the last item, and then we'll, I'm going to try on the products. So what it's saying, if my beauty routine were a video game, I would just have gotten through an impossible level. 15 minutes later, the hyaluronic acid infused formula left my parched skin. Okay, $19.90 is what this is. $19.90. Okay, so let's, the next thing I'm going to do because, I mean, there's not too much to try on except for the um, lip and cheek from the Allure box and the eyeliner for the Allure box. Uh, but then I also have this little thing that I'm more interested in. Um, so they also have this eyeliner. There's no need for me to try that on. But since I'm on the go today, we're gonna use this one. I did swatch that for you, so I'm going to bring it in. We're going to bring it in and we're going to apply it to my cheeks first just to see 
what that does. Yeah, I have a glittery face now because of this color. So I'm going to now I'm not seeing I'm not wanting this on my lips. It's got too much um, sh glimmer and shimmer in it. So we're going to switch um, to the one that I have in my Allure box because this is just not going to do it for cheek and um, lip. Not at all. Not at all. So that's what we're going to have to do. So I'm going to go ahead and there's this is sealed. So I'm going to take unseal this and we'll apply this. All right, guys, we are now going to use this blush serum that came in the um, Allure Beauty box. I did have to wash my hands off. Um, I, I must say I am not. I'm waiting for something to happen with this. Um, I don't know. It just looks a little dullish, the BB cream. But I am not used to BB cream. But this BB cream also has uh, SPF sun screen in it. And that could be causing this um, BB cream to look grayish or dullish. So yeah, I'm really trying to take off this top. Okay, this might be a little bit too red, I'm seeing. Let's bring you in uh, a little bit closer. So this is what I am seeing. I don't know if this is going to work. I have to put my finger, but this is the red that you see coming out of this. So let's see what happens. That one ended up looking like just glitter and that's it. This BB cream does give me a glow. I do like that. The glitter did not really help. Let me just say that. I did not want a lot of glitter on my skin. Uh, it looks like it, it made it look like I overused the highlight like a highlighter or something. But let's go ahead and zoom back. I do want to comb my eyebrows. This is not looking too bad with this blush. You can see it right here. But I do have quite a bit of glitter on my face. Quite a bit. And I'm just going to go over this with the beauty blender here. I have so much glitter on my face, guys. I don't know if you can see it. But I am not a fan of that other one that other blush and cheek pot not a fan i am way too glittery i'm going to comb my eyebrows and we'll talk about both boxes all right guys all in all um i can't say i'm disappointed in any of the boxes that i just uh unboxed i think the allure box was definitely more skincare heavy uh than the um BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm did have some skincare in it, um, even, if it even if it was for the body, I consider that skincare. Uh, but the BoxyCharm, I just was not a fan of this uh, Jekka Black um, Play Pot. Um, because of my lifestyle, this would not be used a lot now if I was still like back in the day going to the salsa clubs and dancing and all that 
uh, maybe going to dinner all the time with my family. Maybe this would get used a lot, but I am now going to be going out looking glittery. I'm not going to take this off um, because I do want to see how some of these things wear personally for myself. But this is way too much glitter to have on. Um, this would be used for going out someplace special or at night. There's a lot of glitter going on, a lot more than I thought, and it just wasn't enough um, color going on. So I then turned to this one, which is the blush serum to give color, which it did. You have to be, oops, have to be really careful with this. Um, a very little goes a long way and I mean very little because I really had to work at shearing it out um, I didn't comb my eyebrows but I mean really who cares because I <laughs> I'm not really uh, going anywhere um, where I care about that but guys yeah I I kind of like the boxycharm better just because it had more um, makeup to dabble in uh, I am not going to put on any liner. They both had liners in them. I'm very interested in the uh, bronzy liner that came in the Allure Beauty box, but I'm not mad at either box. Uh, I'm going to wear that. Let me know what you think of the BB cream. Just let me know what you think of it. Um, I am very glowy. Hopefully this wears off. Uh, throughout the day, but I, I do like the BB cream in that it looks um, glowy. It looks like I'm glowing. Um, the it, it, it just looks a little pale. I'm not getting a lot of um, color, like caramel color, skin tone, my skin tone color. Um, it's more grayish, like muted. Um, I don't know. I I like what the the BB cream said that it did uh, f as far as the skincare properties it had. The fact that it has SPF, and I'm almost certain it's the SPF that's making it look like this. Guys, if I'm seeing things, let me know. Let me know what you think my skin looks like. But I'm not mad at either box. Let me know if you like the side-by-side -side comparisons or unboxings of the boxes. Don't want to call them dueling because they're really not on the same level. If it was Ipsy and BoxyCharm, that'd be a different kind of um, video, you know. So it'd be a different kind of comparison. But anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you're new here, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I appreciate everyone that's already stuck with me through this very um, challenging uh, YouTube channel thing. Uh, I, I don't get a lot of subscribers, um, but when I do, I'm grateful to you guys. So, But we will see you in the next one. I think the next one should be Ipsy because I get it every other month. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Bye.